this video, we will continue with the factor theorem. You will find this on page 388 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Show that this is a factor of this. Okay, very simple, we did it in previous videos. So we're basically just going to put it equal to zero, then we get two, then we substitute the two, and we must get the remainder of zero. So therefore, and please end with this uh, sentence, because it shows that. So therefore, x minus two is a factor of f. Okay, now, show that this has no other linear factors. Now, you cannot, I think sometimes people just think, oh, it's nature of the roots. Nature of the roots is just for quadratic equations. It's not for cubic equations. So what you must do is you must first take this factor out of this cubic equation to make it a quadratic equation, and then you can prove the nature of the roots. So you must determine the nature of the roots by 16, chapter 1. But you can only find the nature of the roots of a quadratic function. So first divide by the linear factor to find the quadratic factor. Okay, so again I do my long division and I end up with my quadratic factor. And now you can, nature of the roots, you're going to work out the discriminant. And if you work out, you can see it's negative. And can you remember? Because under the root, under the root, it cannot be negative. And the discriminant is always standing underneath the root. Okay. And then you say there are no other real roots. The only linear factor is x minus 2. Not very difficult. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do just number one. And again... You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number 1a. Show that x minus 2 is a factor of... Okay, now I think it's always good that you give it a name, the expression. So this is now my name for the expression. So if you want to show that x minus 2, you're going to say f2... So this is going to be 8 minus 2 minus 6 and at 0. And we want it 0 but end. So therefore, you say and end it with x minus 2 is a factor of fx or gx. It depends what you named it. I said fx so they will look in your sum. Okay. Or of the expression. So, of the cubic expression. Now, I go on. Number B. Then show that this has only one real root. Again, it's cubic. And you must get it quadratic. Now, how do I get it quadratic? I'm first just going to do my long division. Or I do the short one. And how is the short one doing? Okay, so, oh, be careful if you do the short one here. Because there is... 0 x squared. Do you see? So it's going to be 1 and it's going to be 0 and it's going to be negative 1 and it's going to be negative 6. So it's 1, 0, negative 1, negative 6 because it's x3, x2, x constant. Okay. It's x minus 2 but I write 2. I bring this one down and it's 1. 2 times 1, it's 2. Then I get 2, then I get 4, then I get 3 if I multiply 6. So this is constant, this is x, and this is x squared. So basically, it's going to be x minus 2 and this quadratic part. Okay. But now, I'm going to work out the discriminant of this quadratic part. Let's just move this. Move it a little bit up. So, the discriminant of this part is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, this is a, this is b, and this is c. So, b is then 2, 
A is 1 and C is 3. So this is 4 minus 12 and that is going to be negative 8. Let's just move it up. That is going to be negative 8. So therefore, therefore, the discriminant is smaller than 0. We end up with saying there are no, there are no other real roots. So remember, this one is real, real. This one is not real. I'll show you now how that sketch looks. Uh, um, no, there are no other real roots, so they're only linear factor. So the only linear factor is x minus 2. What I'm going to show you now is, is not necessary. It's just to show you how the graph will look. And it's just going to help to have a little bit more insight when you are doing the questions. So I went to Symbol Lab, I press on graphing, I type in there the expression because it's actually y equals. And look how this graph was looking. It's cutting there at 2, that's the real root. But because this turning point, this first turning point, is not there, it's not on top of the x-axis, is both of them is basically at the bottom of the x-axis. So this curve is only, only touching the x-axis there. If that turning point was, say, for example, there, it would have cut three times. But this example is, have, is only having one real root. I just wanted you to see the picture.